Hey folks, it's Antar, and for my big 5-0, I've got a very special battle for you today. My opponent is none other than Wally World 121212, and if you don't know who Wally World is, well, I guess you probably didn't watch back in the PBR days. He was a big, big name. He was one of the first people whose battles I ever watched. I am ashamed to admit I watched his battles during class when I was bored on my iPod. Yeah, Oof. Bowling classes. Anyway, so I was so, so happy when he challenged me. He PM'd me and challenged me to a triples battle. So I was like, yes, let's do it. Let's do it. We're doing level 50 all because I don't think his Pokemon are all level 100. And he starts off with his superior taunting my Musharna. Unfortunately, he didn't know that I carry the Mental Herb, so he's not going to be able to successfully stop me from getting off my Trick Room. Anyway, uh, his... <clears throat> His uh, Mind Shell carries the acrobatics with the Flying Gem. That is actually not enough to take out my super duper awesome Tangrowth, although it comes really, really close. Uh, maybe that's min damage or something like that, but it's also the fact that Kazulu is freaking awesome. Anyway, it's going to go ahead and take a hit from uh, his Electros, and that is going to be enough to take out my Tangrowth. And so now it's down, but it's okay. It sponged those hits quite well, prevented any of my other Pokemon from really getting hit, and so now I've got the Trick Room off. So that's excellent for me. I'm going to go ahead and send out my Steelix, which is going to be the slowest Pokemon on my team, thanks to the fact that I'm pretty sure it carries Iron Ball, or not Iron Ball, Power Weight, because uh, that way when I trick it onto my Rotom, it doesn't lose its love ability. Anyway, going to go for the Rock Slide here. He probably thought I was going to go for Earthquake, but why would I do that when one of his Pokemon is already levitating, so I'm glad I didn't. Anyway, I break multi-scale with that rock, uh, rock Slide. It doesn't do very much. The Psychic after it doesn't do very much either. That is one bulky Dragonite, I gotta say. Lamprea is going to go ahead and hit my Steelix with a Flamethrower, but it's not gonna one-hit KO. I do have the Sturdy anyway, so that's excellent, as long as he had didn't burn me or anything. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and try to take out his Serpentine with an Ice Beam. I succeed, and that's excellent. I no longer have to worry about that Superior. Not that it's really the biggest threat, but it wasn't like a Dream World Superior, superior or anything. Anyway, he sends out his Jellicent, which is going to fare pretty well in a Trick Room. His Dragonite's going to go ahead and go for the Extreme Speed, but against the Steelix, you know, that's resisted, doesn't really do very much. Hatterg is going to go ahead and go for the Rock Slide. It hits all of his, all three of my opponent's Pokemon again, and so that's kind of haxy because Rock Slide does not have perfect accuracy after all. Anyway, Psychic at this point is going to take out the Captain, and a Dragonite is down. And, worst... That's also awful. I get the double flinch. I'm going to go ahead and use T-Wave, not T-Wave, T-Bolt against his Silkful. It does a lot of damage, doesn't uh, paralyze, which is nice, and out is going to come his Crustle. i um, going to go ahead and go for the Rock Slide again. Again, not missing any of his Pokemon. Really kind of lame, and a you know, super effective hit against that Crustle. And I'm going to go ahead and second get it. For some reason, I've decided that that's the biggest threat to my team. Maybe I'm afraid it's going to go for the uh, Shell Smash as my Trick Room ends. I think it's going to end this turn. Not 100% positive. Anyway, Lantern is going to take that Grass Knot. I was actually expecting that that Electros was Specs, but it obviously wasn't because it went for the Grass Knot. Doesn't really do too much to my special wall tangro, uh, uh, angler. And anyway, this is the turn, unfortunately, that Steelix dies. Uh, catching up with the narration, T-Bolt is going to take out Jellicent, and that's excellent for me. I still have a lead. I have lost count a little bit as to, as to how much of a lead. Anyway, counter from that Crustle is going to hit my brain, going to bring me down to about 60% health. I'm going to go ahead and send out Mikhail. Now, uh, I believe the Trick Room is going to run up this next turn. No, yeah, so this is the last turn of Trick Room. I'm going to go ahead and psychic that uh, Mind Shell, and it is going to be enough to KO, because Mind Shell actually has decent special attack. I don't think I have any investment in special attack, but it does have decent special attack. Anyway, uh, my opponent continues to hit Lantern, and it's only gotten me down about 50% health now, and I'm going to take out that Electros with a, a Drain Punch, and that's going to be excellent. I absolutely love my delay, gotta say. So anyway, Scald now uh, has no target, because that's how triples works, uh, and X Scissor is, don't think it's going to take out my Musharna, but it is down to pretty low, that now that the Trick Room has ended, I don't think that I can successfully 
get Brain to set up the Trick Room. So what I'm going to do is kind of an interesting strategy. I'm going to swap out Brain. I'm going to go ahead and send out my Rotom Frost form. Dwellers going to use x Scissor. It's not resistant because uh, Rotom is no longer a ghost, although I kind of forgot about that. And then I'm going to have Lantern do a switch uh, to move Gallade out to the end where it's safe. And therefore, I'm able to get my Trick Room up and Gallade out of the way and out of harm's way. And now I'm going to go ahead and send out Brain as, you know, he is down to his last Pokemon. I'm going to go ahead and stall uh, for the KO, I believe, and that is going to be the end of the battle. So, great game, Wally World. Folks, if you haven't subscribed to Wally World, I don't know that he's still uploading battles, but you should at least check out his channel and thumb through his old battles. Uh, so, it's been 50 battles, 50 DS battles. Um, I'm pretty happy about that. I cannot wait for the next 50. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, folks.